and welcome to the replay. Coming in early to chalk because we are closing the trailer this weekend and I can't take, can't take chalk stuff with me. So I'm going to chalk now. Hi, how are you guys? Hello, hello. Oh, what is this called? Okay, found my Facebook. Where is my YouTube, you guys? Why can I not pull that up? I'm not having much luck. There it is. Okay. There it goes. So how's everybody? Happy Friday. Hooray. Hooray, hooray. It's Friday. Let's see. Hi, Ashley and Laura and Lori and Nikki. How are you guys? Hi, Joyce. Good morning. So I am quickly coming in before we leave. Hello, Lori. We've got lots of Lori's on today. Um, as soon as Big Brand gets home from work, we are going to leave to go down and close the camper. My gosh. So um, I'm coming in early because I won't be able to chalk there tonight or tomorrow morning. So tomorrow night, I'm actually going to chalk instead of an early morning chalking and coffee Saturday. We're going to have a late night sip and chalk, maybe with some alcohol. Um, or it just might be a late evening coffee, um, with you guys. So as you guys are coming in, if you are not a chocolate tour designer, if you're on Facebook, bottom left hand side of your mobile device is that share button. I would love it if you click share, if you're catching me on YouTube and also not a chocolate tour designer right under the live video to the left of the live feed is that share button. I would love it if you click share. Also, while you're on YouTube, right next to that share button is the subscribe button. Be sure to check hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications. If you're on Facebook, hit my like my fan page, hit that big thumbs up and make sure you turn on your notifications. If you're catching me live, please say hashtag live. If you're catching the replay, please say hashtag replay. Also, if this is your first time hearing of Chalk Couture, or you may have heard about it, but you're not currently working with a designer, I would love to be your designer. Please put a one down below. If you're already an amazing Chalk Couture designer, please put a two down below. Throw me some hearts. Also, while we're at it, um, if you would like to follow me on social media, my um, YouTube channel is Crafting and Stampin'. No G's. We dropped the G's in New Jersey. Please go over and follow me there. Additionally, my Instagram is the same name, Crafting and Stampin'. You can find me over there as well. Um, and last but not least, Facebook. If you haven't followed me there, I'm just Chocotour with Jessica. It's pretty easy to find me, okay, you guys? So let's put a little something up here on the screen to tell you all about Chocotour while I get my screens ready. Hi, Anna. Hi, Lori. Hi, Les. Hi, Catherine Mahal. Hello, Anna. How are you? Hello, Melissa. How are you? No G's. Good morning. No G's. I love it, Melissa. Love, love, love it. Hi, Dawn Marie. Okay, looks like we should have been there. Now, I am not going to iron this at the end. I'm going to tell you guys how I would iron it, only because I cannot get to it at this exact moment in time, my heat press. I have a bunch of things on it while I'm still waiting for my shelves to come for the bottom part of my um, scrap box or my dream box. So, yeah, there's that. So, you guys, I just have this super fun little napkin. Um, it's actually a... 15 by 15 size napkin. I got it from, I think, Home Goods last year. Um, and I'm actually going to turn it into a towel. I want to have a towel for Thanksgiving um, for my new kitchen. Hi, Laura. So um, we're going to be doing that. Now, I have not used this, but I did lend it out. So turkey has already been written on the back as well as the back of the stripe. If you um, if you have read what, or if you saw what you read, um, our transfers are reusable over and over and over again. All you need to do is just label the back of the carrier sheet. This is a paper side. And when you peel it off, you're going to see that this 
is the glossy side, and that's re how we'll replace our transfers, okay? Now, I'm going to be using ink today. Whoops, I forgot to get my little ink mat out. Let me just grab that real quick. should be close to the top. Yeah, I'm not going to use my giant one. I'm just going to use my portion of my 11 by 17 size. I cut up. Don't need to use a big giant one. Okay, I'm going to just stick it down where I'm going to be doing my chalk in. And it is a sticky um, mat. Uh, 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 it sticks and it actually helps look it's taken all the wrinkles out of the area that I have it at. So I'm just going to go ahead and place the the uh, the transfer. Um, I will suggest that you guys definitely iron prior to using this. Um, I totally would have. Wait a second. I grabbed black and I wanted bark ink. Hold on one second, you guys. Where is my bark ink? There it is. Clearly, I couldn't see when I was grabbing stuff out. Didn't pay attention. So I'm going to be using bark and candy apple ink today. I'm going to be doing this whole portion. Whoops, let me move it up a little more. This whole portion in the bark, and then I'm going to use the candy apple on the little um, stripes to go down the side of it. I think it's going to be super cute. Just making sure it's straight and it appears to be. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open up my bark ink. And I am going to grab a squeegee. Where's my squeegee? I'm going to use a small squeegee for this. Hello, Don Marie. Okay, so all I'm going to do is I'm going to load up my squeegee with some ink. Now, I am not going to place this on top of the towel because let's not make an inky mess, okay? So all I'm going to do is whenever I ink what I have figured out that works best for me, um, I will start above the silk screen area and work straight up and down. Now, the reason why I do this is I have found that if I do have an air bubble in my transfer, in my silk screen area that I may have missed, if you work up and down or down and down to up, you won't have as big of a bleed. Um, you may not even have a bleed, but if you go side to side, I've learned that that's when I, when I have a, a bubble, it bleeds worse. So I'm going to just start above the silk screen area and I'm going to start pulling the color on my squeegee down. I just need to cover the silk screen area. You don't have to cover the entire so uh, the entire transfer, okay? So see how I'm just pulling this color down? Just like so. Hi, Megan. Love watching your videos. I was looking at your videos. Oh, yes, those ones. Actually, the, that was my um, retreat in a box that you're talking about. The next one is going to open um, November the 1st. I'll be doing my Christmas retreat in a box. If you guys are interested in that, comment, um, comment VIP down below and I'll make sure you get added into my VIP group because that is where all the details will be released. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm, it's funny. I was actually planning out like some other things in it this morning. Um, the fall retreat in a box went over so well. Um, the people that took advantage of that, they told me they loved it. Um, it, it, it was really good, I think. So yeah, stay tuned. Um, the next one will be coming out, uh, December the 1st. I will start the advertising for it or November the 1st. Okay. Now I want to go ahead and make sure I have no ink on my fingers because I'm going to be using my, obviously my fingers to pull the, the transfer up. So you want to make sure you don't have any inky fingers because you will get it onto your, um, your towel. And we don't want that. Okay. You guys check this out. It's perfect. Look how clear that is. Look at the detail that this transfer did on this towel. It is amazing, you guys. Absolutely amazing. Yay, Megan, I'm so glad. Let me zoom this in a little bit so you guys can check out check out the detail. Let me move this off real quick. Hold on. Look at that. Look how stunning that is, you guys. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. It's awesome. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually dry this part, okay? Now, 
Drying is not the same as heat setting. So we're gonna dry quickly first. And all I'm doing is using my heat tool for this, okay? Just using my heat tool. All right. And I'm just gonna dry it. When it's dry, it will be slightly tacky to the touch, okay? But I don't want to go on, and you certainly don't want to go and heat set it with your iron while it's still wet. You'll just move it all around. Oh, really? Hold on. I already did that. Sorry. That was my Friday reminder to do something in my team page. I love this turkey, too, Joyce. Didn't it turn out so cute? It's awesome. Hey, Chalkin' with Vicky. Thank you so much. Oh, Melissa, awesome. You're not in my VIP group. Let me get make sure I send you the link to that. There's the link, Melissa. Okay, I think we're pretty dry. So that's awesome. Okay, it was slightly tacky to the touch. That's what you want. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to put the lid on this, my bark, so I don't inadvertently dip into it and or get it all over myself, which you guys know I will likely do. Now I'm going to go ahead and use my candy apple ink. Now guys, this ink is like almost two years old, like you just don't need a lot of ink at all. It's so funny that I still have it. The same little red after all this time. Clearly, I don't use a lot of red in inking. Or I don't use a lot of ink, period, one or the other. You know, like it doesn't, it doesn't require a lot. Now, this has already been labeled. And I don't typically fuzz when I'm putting on to fabric. I want to make sure that it sticks super good. So, yeah. I don't fuzz. Whoops, that totally went crooked on me. Okay, I'm just going to push down really well. Okay, now I'm going to use a little mini squeegee because I know that I will likely go off, screen, off the screen if I were to use a big one. So I'm going to, like I said, I'll start above the screen and I'll just pull the color straight on down. Okay. I don't like to go side to side because if I do have that bleed, it's going to make it worse. That's what I've learned. It may be different for you, but it might just be the way I chalk. Okay. Get that excess off my squeegee. Place it to the side. Make sure I have no ink on my fingers. And I'm going to go ahead and lift it up. Oh, that looks so good. Oh, I went a little crooked, but that's okay. All right, now I'm going to do the same thing on this side. And hopefully not go as crooked this time. Okay, now I definitely have ink on my fingers from pr pressing down. Okay, so I'm just really going to be careful when I go and pull this up. Okay. Okay, that is all my ink. Now, I am not going to use this finger at all to lift up because I've got ink all over it. 
but there, <laughs> I'm a little lopsided, you guys, but you know what? It's okay. I don't mind it so much. I think it looks cute. And I could totally extend the line if I wanted to, but you know what? I'm totally happy with it. I think it looks super adorable. Right, Angie? Super crisp, super clean, super straight. Except for the fact that I can't see. <laughs> I can not see that it was straight. That it wasn't straight. Go figure on this side, the one I barely put it on. This is Chris totally straight. But what makes me happy is that it's about even on both sides. That's what I was hoping for. How cute is this? Now, when you are using ink, you want to make sure you wash your transfers super fast, okay? Do not let the ink sit on the silk screen area. We want to wash it off. So I would say as soon as you are done drying your project, go clean your transfers, then come back and heat set, okay? A little bit more on this side, and then we're dry. Okay, and we are done. We're done. All we need to do is heat set this, okay? So I'm going to just take my my uh, ink my ink mat out, okay? And I will go on and I will heat set this. Now, like I said, I'm not going to do it on um, camera because I can't get to my I can't get to my heat press right now. But let's talk about it, okay? So if I was going um, if I was going to be doing my heat press right now, what I would be doing is Putting it um, on, if you have a heat press, it would be 330 for 30 seconds, okay? That's all you need. Both sides, three minutes, 30, or I'm sorry, three degree of 330 for 30 seconds. You want a parchment paper barrier, okay? If you have an iron, you want to use the iron on a cotton setting for four minutes on both sides, also with the parchment paper barrier, Okay? Oh, thanks, Joyce. You're so cute. So that was it. Super easy peasy. I love how it turned out. Um, I'm going to go heat set it, and then that way I can have it ready. It'll be able to be washed, and it won't come off. It's super awesome. Okay, you guys? So that was my quick ink project today. Uh, let me come on back to me. So now... Um, if you liked what you saw and you want to get your hands on these products, but you may not be currently working with a designer, I would love to be your designer. All you need to do is comment me down below and I will message you the link to my VIP group. In my VIP group, I have tons going on. I have try me kits, intro kits, special offers, bundle deals, uh, a monthly chalk box subscription. My, uh, every, uh, let's say, uh, every six, every two months or so, there's going to be a new retreat in a box. My Christmas retreat in a box will open November the 1st. Um, and I have over 700 chalk tour videos in there. So hopefully something will be bound to bring you inspiration. Now, if you love seeing what I do and you said, I can do that too. I would love to build my own empire. I want to purchase that business in a box and go ahead and start rocking and rolling. Um, this is our business in a box, you guys. Okay. It is $99 US or $129 Canadian. It comes with five three ounce chalk paste, seven silk screen transfers, a small squeegee, an apron, a 12 pack of thank you cards, a 12 pack of chalkable chips, a board and base, a nine by 12 porcelain steel, eight a magnetic chalkboard, uh, the fall winter catalog, and the read me. Okay. Isn't it a beauty? I just love it. Now, you might say, yeah, that, that business in a box looks like it's for me, but I've got questions before I join, and I'm happy with that because I have answers. All you need to do is comment, join down below, and I'll message you the link to my opportunity group. In my opportunity group, I have a video that goes over every single detail that you need to know in order to make an educated decision about not just joining Chocotour, but joining my team. So comment, join down below if you're interested in that. Now, last but certainly not least, if you are looking for the best home subscription service, um, that is DIY, look no further than Club Couture. Our Club Couture subscription is only $19.99 US or $26.99 Canadian. 
It includes um, free shipping, you guys. You'll get an exclusive size B transfer that you cannot find anywhere else and three chalk piece singles. You will also have access as a Club Couture customer to four sales that Chalk Couture offers to only Club Couture customers throughout the year. And guys, guess what? We're at the tail end of one of the sales right now. Um, additionally, when you join Club Couture under me, you will also get access into my private club couture group where I do a special live every single month and do three additional projects just for my club couture customers. My, my normal business page will never see those ones. Okay. Now, once you join club couture, there is a three month minimum, but you're not billed up front all at once. Um, actually, if you join in October of 2019, you won't be billed until November the 5th, followed by December the 5th, followed by January the 5th. Now, because I said it starts November the 5th, you might want to see happy fall days. Well, guess what, you guys? Never fear. Once you sign up for Club Couture, you can actually add October's Club Couture in your cart for only $19.99 plus tax and shipping U.S. or $26.99 plus tax and shipping Canadian. It is such a sweet little transfer. I flip and love it. And I already have made some super cute home decor that I'll be displaying in my own house. Now, once you do that, you will even have the ability to add on what's called our Kickstarter kit. Our Kickstarter kit is $69.99 U.S., or 93.49 Canadian, but valued at 76 US and 102 Canadian. It comes with a 9x12 porcelain steel Aiden magnetic chalkboard, a board and base, a two pack of board erasers, a small squeegee, a three ounce bright white chalk paste, and a multi tool. So if you guys happen to be interested in getting more information about Club Couture, comment club down below and I'll make sure I message you all the details. So that's it, you guys. My super fun and easy project today. I'm trying to be careful how I hold it because I have ink on my fingers, but I can't wait to put this up in my kitchen once it's done for Thanksgiving. So I hope you guys have a great day. Remember, I won't be on for early morning chalking and coffee tomorrow. Instead, I will be on for late night sipping and chalking tomorrow night, okay? And then everything goes back to normal on Sunday. So I hope you guys have a great day. Enjoy your Friday and I will talk to y'all later, okay? Bye!